Regular monitoring of prostate cancer as a treatment option offers the same chances of survival 10 years after diagnosis as surgery or radiotherapy, a major study into the disease has discovered. The 10-year-long trial, which examined men with localized prostate cancer, found survival rates were extremely high, approximately 99%, irrespective of the treatment administered. There was no spread of the disease in around 80% of men who were actively monitored during the UK-wide study. But having surgery or radiotherapy reduced the risk of cancer spreading even further, dropping by more than half against those being monitored, to less than 10%. Researchers said the findings had major implications for men diagnosed with localized cancer via the prostate-specific antigen, PSA, blood test, used for cancer screening. There is currently no routine screening for prostate cancer in the UK, and the study's results will play a key part in the decision on whether to screen for cancer. But the scientists said the trial results alone would not allow them to recommend whether or not to implement such a program. Professor Freddie Hamdi, from the University of Oxford, who led the research, said, What we have learned from this study so far is that prostate cancer detected by PSA blood test grows very slowly and very few men die of it when followed up over a period of 10 years, around 1%, irrespective of the treatment assigned. This is considerably lower than anticipated when we started the study. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer. In men, with over 47,000 diagnoses every year in the UK and around 10,800 deaths. Between 20,000 and 30,000 men are diagnosed annually with localized prostate cancer through the PSA test. The PROTECT trial, funded by the National Institute for Health Research and carried out by researchers from the universities of Oxford and Bristol, is the first to examine the effectiveness, cost-effectiveness and acceptability of three major treatment options for men with localized prostate cancer, active monitoring with PSA testing every three or six months surgically removing the prostate gland, and radiotherapy. Between 1999 and 2009, 1,643 men aged 50 to 69 were given one of the three treatments after they were diagnosed via the PSA test, from a sample of 82,429 men, with localized prostate cancer. The results, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, revealed exceptionally low mortality rates around 1%, irrespective of treatment type. Surgery or radiotherapy reduced cancer spreading by more than half compared with active monitoring, occurring in less than 10% of men rather than around 20% for the monitored group. Both interventions caused unpleasant side effects, particularly in the first year post-treatment. But there was no difference in treatment effectiveness between them. Watch more videos at video.5la.net.